All right, as promised, we're gonna walk you through each of the lessons. We're gonna start with day one. So if you open up your kit, all of your lesson plans are in there. So we're gonna pull out day one. And as you can see, it has everything that you need right here on this piece of paper. So it gives you objectives, what you're gonna to learn today, the parts of a plant, where fruits and vegetables come from, and that blueberries grow on bushes, because believe it or not, there are some children that are not familiar with that. Let's Read tells you what book you'll be using for the day. Day one is Blueberries for Sal. And that book is in your kit. It's an excellent little book. Of course, I advise you to read through all the, the books before you actually present them to your groups. So that's Blueberries for Sal, your book for the day. Then you'll notice there's a let's take a closer look section. So you'll ask questions to the kids and I try to include the answers for anything that you may not know or that uh, may catch you off guard. In the let's, in, let's investigate section, it asks the question that you and the children are about to answer. So where do blueberries come from? It gives you a materials list, your blueberry bush color page. So let's find that. That's going to be in the folder with your originals. The originals have this sticky note that say, remind you to please make copies. The blueberry bush color sheet is the very first one. It's on top. So you will need that. That is provided in the kit. Blue sticker dots, this is an optional part of the activity. You can either just have the children color the blueberries blue, or if you think they may want to add some extra blueberries, you can see that these are little tiny blue dot sticker dots, and you can give each child a set number of those. There are 450 in a pack, so you should be able to have enough for your group. So, again, they can just color the blueberries or they can stick the sticker dots on there and add some extra blueberries to their bushes if you think that's more appropriate for your age level. Crayons are also on your materials list, not provided. Um, we've been told that you guys all have crayons, so hopefully that's not going to be a problem. If it is, notify us immediately so we can get some crayons out to you. And then also your parts of a plant poster is in the kit. You can see I just pulled it right off the top. It is in there. So this is the parts of a plant poster. It tells you about the flower, leaves, stem, and roots. So that you don't have to come up with that or try to illustrate it for the children yourself. Let's get set. Tells you how to set up. Pass out the color pages, crayons, and blue sticker dots. Let's go. Gives you your instructions. Tell the kids to color the bushes green and put the blueberry stickers on the bush if you're having them do that part of the activity. Basically today really is talking about um, parts of a plant. You're going to go over those. You're going to ask the kids what their favorite fruit or vegetable is and what kind of plant it grows on, a bush, a vine, or a tree. Do the activity because we want them to know that blueberries grow on bushes. This week really is about blueberries after all. And then you're going to ask them the simple reflect questions. Do all fruits and vegetables come from plants? Obviously that's a yes. What kind of plants do blueberries grow on? Hopefully they can answer those bushes. And what are the parts of a plant? Um, I forgot to tell you guys, so I'm glad I thought of this, that you need to administer the pretest before you start the day. So even before you read, and I'll make a note on these for you guys. The pretest is very simple. We did an audience poll documentation sheet. So this is very simple. You're going to write the total number of participants. So how many kids you have that day up here. And then this, the, it's very simple. Raise your hand if you can name three things that plants need to grow. If they can, if they raise their hand, count them and write that number here. If it's easier for you to count the kids that don't have their hands raised, then you put that in negative responses. So if they don't, if you're counting children who did not raise their hand, put it in negative. If you're counting children who did, put it in affirmative. And that's all you have to do. You don't even have to do the math because I'll do it for you. On the bottom, you can see that we ask for you to put the date of your program, the date that you did this. So the Monday that you start, put the date there. The location is just your library branch name. And then is this the pre or post test? Because they're the exact same thing when they come back, we need to know which was which. We would like to know the numbers of males and females, the ethnicity breakdown, if you can all possibly get that for us. I believe we're collecting sign-in sheets from you guys for these days, and that will help as well. Because we have certain reporting requirements for the grant. So pre-test, you can come in, 
say, all right, guys, I have some questions for you. You don't have to tell them it's a test. Ask them to raise their hands for these questions. Make sure you get the counts on there. And then you start with blueberries for sale. Ask them the closer look questions. And then color page. And ask them the reflection questions. Day one, very simple, very straightforward. Hopefully, everything is there. If you find anything missing in your kit, please let us know as soon as possible and we will do everything we can. But we have triple checked everything and we're pretty certain that you have everything you need for day one. So that's it. Next time I see you, we'll be talking about day two.